I know what it is. All right, so your name? Tanya, New York. And your name of your company? Micro Arts and Micro Minute Makeup. So, uh, can you tell me more? I heard it's like, it's, is it permanent or semi-permanent makeup? It's a um, technology that we've developed that is a semi-permanent makeup that lasts up to three years on the skin uh, without causing any side effects and looks uh, extremely natural. So, um, the areas of the face that we work on are the eyebrows, eyeliner, and lips. Um, there is... Um, Again, no side effects, no downtime, no scabbing, no bleeding, no bruising. Uh, we can work on anybody, any ethnicity, any color skin, any age, going through chemotherapy and all kinds of different medical treatments. Um, and we work on the other half of the work that we do is all over the body, correcting any kind of skin discolorations. So um, birthmarks, scars, vitiligo, um, anything. We can change the color of skin. <laughs> so, how long does it took you to develop the formula for um, the semi-permanent makeup? So, we've been in business for ten years now. We're celebrating our ten year anniversary, and um, we spent five years in development before we launched the company. Well, I've heard about permanent makeup before, quote unquote. And the early practitioner compared it to having almost like a tattoo. Well, but it is a tattoo. It's a form of a tattoo. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, and there's a lot of different forms of permanent makeup um, out there. So a lot of different types of equipment, a lot of different types of products. Um, from microblading, which is the cheapest, um, least expensive form of any kind of permanent makeup. And it has the most amount of side effects. To other things that are a little bit more... Um, uh, have a little bit more engineering in the equipment, but the products that are, that are used typically are very similar to tattoo inks, and that's why a lot of the colors change over time and people end up with, if everybody's seen them, the orange eyebrows and the blue eyebrows and the blue eyeliner of, over time. So um, the, the products that we've developed, it's, it's, there's three components of how we get the results. One is the products that we've developed, um, then the equipment, and then the actual uh, artistry or technique of the client. So how widespread is this practice of uh, semi-permanent We just makeup. have the one clinic in Beverly Hills. Oh. Half of our clients are flying in from all over the world to get work done, and the other half are local. Great. Yeah. I mean, I'm surprised this isn't more widespread. It's semi-permanent, no more than three years. Do I stand correct? Yes. So it's, it just lasts about three years if you don't maintain it. Mm. Most of our clients choose to maintain it. Um, but the good thing is why, it's, uh, why people feel safer is that if they think that, oh, what if they hate it? Or what if their skin ages, which everybody does? Or what if, you know, fashions change? Or um, and, oh, the medical work that we do, what if there's a new medical procedure that can cure whatever problem they're having rather than having to cover it on a you know, annual basis. So most of our clients come in once a year to get a maintenance touch up. That way, when it's about halfway faded, you add more color in. Kind of like getting your hair done or something, you know, or your nails. And maintaining it that way. Except this is in your skin. Mm -hmm, it yeah. <laughs> well, I'm surprised not a whole lot of people pick up on this, especially with, you know, fashion change, your attitude change. Yeah. You, change you change partners. Uh, it'd be glad. Change hair color. Yeah, change your color. Yeah. It takes a very light. It's the, the, it requires a lot of skill to do the to do the procedure. So that's what's held us back from expanding as fast as I would like to expand it. Um, so um, yeah. So right now we have the one clinic in Beverly Hills. We booked out a few months in advance, and um, every day we're dealing with people flying in from all over. So wow, that's a good reputation. Yeah. Australia and New Zealand and the Middle East. And so where are you located in Beverly Hills? We are on the corner. Our, our new clinic, which we opened just seven months ago, it's on the corner of uh, Brighton and Canada. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully when I get around to publishing our interview, more people will know about it. And this would be, as a, for me personally, it's like, it's a safer, nicer alternative to a real tattoo that you're stuck forever. Okay. It's going to be like, instead of Wyona, it's going to be Wino forever. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, the people that come, to see us are looking for really, really natural results. Subtle. So, very subtle. So that when you're not wearing any makeup at all, 
you have something and it looks good. It's not like you have bright red lips coming at you, you know, and nothing else. It's for, yeah. So it's like it's like correcting and then enhancing. Yes. So, um, although, our, although mm -hmm. that being said, everything we do is customized for okay. each client. So we go through a whole design process on the procedures that we do that require design, like eyebrows and lips, and um, and we can go heavier and dramatic, and you know, and uh, as the client wants. But typically, for the most part, it's a very very natural looking results. So other than it will eventually wear off. Yeah. Is it reversible, or you have to wait for it to fade? You just have to wait for it to fade. Yes, but the procedure is done, um, the, like the work on the face, the makeup work on the face is done in two appointments. So we'll get, the first appointment's always underdone a little bit, so that on the second appointment, you get to kind of like test drive it for two weeks, <laughs> and you come back in two weeks, and the second appointment we can make it, um, we can tone the color down if it feels like it's too dark, that rarely happens. What we want is by the, t by the time um, our clients come back the second time, they're like, we want more, we want it darker, we want it more arch, we want it higher. So it's about getting the base in so everybody feels comfortable, and then um, we can back it up a little bit on the next session. And also, usually, we're still very conservative, but usually when people come in for like, um, annual uh, touch-ups, that at that point we can go a little bit more dramatic because they're comfortable in how it fades on their skin over time. So they may come in like at the beginning of the summer and want some super bright lip and know that, you know, it's going to fade out. By the good, day good by choice, time. good timing. Yeah. So is well, we don't start there. <laughs> So is your formula plant-based or uh, um, it's organic? A, it's mineral-based pigment oh, okay. that we use, mm -hmm. yes, and it's a huge long list of different um, ingredients because we've got such a massive color um, um, choices. And then on top of that, we custom blend colors. Oh, okay. Well, I think this is the end of our interview. Okay.